Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Waziri Wetu, Governor Wetu, Bwana Sakaja, na watu ya Nairobi. Nairobi, hoi! Happy New Year! Your Excellency, we are always proud to accompany you around the country as you champion this country's development. Your Excellency, it's only early this morning that you arrived back from the outside world where you had gone to look for assistance for this country. And even before the day ends, you are here on matters development. Your Excellency, for those of us who work under you, you have set a very fast pace. And I must admit, most of us, I included, are finding it difficult to keep up with you. Just allow us to tazoea pole pole, kuendelea na wewe vile unatukimbisha. Because it is for the good of this country. Your Excellency, matters affordable housing are exciting to all of us. One, because of the aim and the objective of restoring the dignity of our people, but most importantly, for creating job opportunities. Umesikia hapa tu kona shida ya kibarua, sindio? Kwa hivyo huu muradi, utasaidia sana vijana wetu, na hata juu ya vijana, hata wa mama wapate kazi kwa hii muradi. Na kwa hivyo tuna muuliza kwa heshima contractor kwa hii muradi usitoe wafanyikazi nje hapa. Wacha tu watu wakule hapa wakule hapa karibu wasaidike. Si iko namna hiyo? Na hata wamama pia wapatiwe nafasi. Na nyinyi wamama wacha pia ni shauri nyinyi. Hao bwana zenu wakipata kazi hapa. Mujue wale wako na mabwana. Na wale na wale wako na sponsor. Na wale wako na boyfriend. Sasa nyinyi mnapanga panga siku ya mshahara ikilipwa mnakaribia. Si ndio? Mnakaa kari? Ndio wakipokea mnapata haki yenu. Msiwache iende yote. Kama ni Saturday kutoka saa kumi saa tisa mnakaribia. Ndio wale wakipata mnachukua haki yenu mnaendelea mbele. Your Excellency tunafurahia sana huu mpango wa affordable housing kwa sababu ya ajira. Kwa sababu mheshimiwa rais tuko na shida jana nilikuwa Muranga na tuko na shida ya illicit brews and drugs kwa watoto wetu. Na hiyo shida your excellency ni kubwa. Na vile tumesema pale Muranga na tunarudia. Na nyinyi watu ya nation na wengine kazi yenu ni kukoroga vile tumesema so that you can portray the government in bad light because mulijaribu kutupiga siku ya uchaguzi mukashindwa what we have saying and we repeat our officers will fight illicit brew lakini businesses that are licensed hakuna mtu anaweza pegana nazo but ile illicit brews na ile bangi kwa sababu hakuna mtu amepatia license lazima mupambana nayo tuokoe hao watoto wetu what we have requested the governors and the word is to request we cannot order them is to consider bar and restaurant ile na uza pombe 24 hours ipunguzwe ikuwe kidogo zile zingine zikuwe bar za kawaida za kutoka saa kumi na moja, mpaka saa tano. wewe ukitaka kunywa ukunywe saa tano, uende nyumbani asubuhi kichwa iko sawa sawa uende kazini Siyo, siyo tumekubaliana. So ours, ours, this administration of William Ruto, kazi yetu ni kuchunga na kupanua biashara. Na ni lazima tusaidie wafanyi biashara wote wapanue biashara zao. So wewe bwana speaker naona ungali umechanganyikiwa. Jubilee ilizama kitambo. Unaonekana una habari? Or you are still in denial? Si jubilee ilizama. Sasa serikali ni ya William Ruto ya UDA na Kenya Kwanza. Na tunataka kusema Governor umesema mzuri. Unataka ulete hao viongozi waogee na rais. Lakini wapite kwangu kwanza tujadiliane. Kwa sababu Kwa sababu 
wiki iliyopita kwa maandamano mkubwa ya wengine alisema hatambui William Ruto kama president na walikuwa pale wakapiga makofi so wapite kwangu wa confirm ya kwamba wanamtabua William Ruto kama rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Siko namna hiyo eh hey. kwa sababu kwa sababu watu hawezi kaa pale wanasema wamtabui rais na wanapiga makofi alafu tunachukua tunawapeleka kwa rais si lazima tu wakague kwanza mnataka tu waweke kwa kilo kwa latili namna hii mmenipatia hiyo kazi so governor hiyo watu yako wakina babu uletaka kwa kwanza ni wapime ni pime ni pime nikiona wako sawa sawa tusukume kwa rais wetu and we want to say na tunataka tuseme namna hii wale ambaye wanasema hawamtabui rais hiyo ni doto waote waote tena na tena na tena doto ikiisha watakuta rais wa Kenya ni William Samoe unajua sasa sasa mimi nauliza hata wewe ukisema utabui rais na umefanya maandamano then from there what next from there what next si maneno imeishia hapo so tunataka kuambia viongozi tafadhali uchaguzi uliisha wa Kenya waliamua mchana mkaenda supreme court mkaambiwa muna case mtulie mngoje tukutane na nyinyi 2027 wakati huu mupatie rais nafasi afanyie wa Kenya kazi na huyu rais wetu anajaribu kweli ama uongo si anangangana sasa wale kama hawakutosheka hiyo ni yao lakini waendelee kuota na ukiota doto si lazima uamuke asubuhi si unakuta maneno ni vile waliwacha before uende kulala iko namna hiyo kwa hivyo rais wetu vile tumekuhakikishia wewe ngangana na hii kazi wa Kenya walikupatia wenye kuamua na wale watakupatia marking scheme ni hawa wa raia wewe shughulika na hawa raia wa excellency na ile kazi unafanya ya fertilizer dio tupunguze bei ya unga uendelee na hiyo dio kazi muhimu kwa wa Kenya kwa, kwa hivyo kwa hayo mengi ningetaka msimame kwa makofi tumkaribishe rais wa jamhuri ya 